The names that we choose to put on our places send strong signals about what and who is worth remembering. That's why the Stapleton name was taken off the neighborhood in Denver, now known as Central Park. The name of a black family of veterans and civil rights activists was considered for that neighborhood, but ultimately was not chosen for that high honor. And now another came along. Here's Mark Salinger. My grandparents, uh, John and Anna Mosley, were uh, trailblazers. The murals around Aurora and Denver paint a picture of Lieutenant Colonel John Mosley. He uh, paid for his own private pilot's uh, license and his own physicals and uh, wanted to be a, uh, an airman. He wanted to be a Tuskegee airman. Serving his country in the military while fighting to make sure that people of any race or color could fight together to protect their country. J.C. Futrell is Mosley's grandson. They care deeply um, for all the men and women and individuals serving. This past summer, J.C. and his family ran a campaign to rename the former Stapleton neighborhood yeah. Mosley Park. They were very cool. <laughs> Fighting to replace the name of a former mayor who was a member of the KKK. Replace it with the name Mosley, a family of civil rights activists and trailblazers. The campaign made it to the final four names before it was voted out. The movement showed them there's still work left to be done. We had yard signs that we had local businesses put up and people were driving around, taking them right out of the ground and putting them in dumpsters. Ultimately, the name Central Park was chosen instead. After the renaming process ended, JC got a call from someone who thinks their name should not be forgotten. I ended up researching the background of Colonel Mosley and was just blown away. Representative Jason Crow will soon introduce legislation to name the new Aurora VA community based outpatient clinic after John Mosley. This is a man who had to fight just to serve. You know, he you know, was in a country at that point that uh, didn't allow uh, African Americans to serve in so many ways. Beyond something they'll see, people may soon say the Mosley name as veterans are welcomed inside. This name uh, being put on a building, I think, can be one that can inspire others um, to really push the envelope and to be the best that they truly can because that's what my grandparents believed in. For next, I'm Mark Salinger. John Mosley would have turned 100 two days ago. The new clinic at the VA hospital is set to open next summer. If that legislation passes, the sign will say the Lieutenant Colonel John W. Mosley Clinic.